Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And I've got a good one for you today. Because who said this? Go fend for yourselves. Okay? That's the one and only Elon Musk said that one. So today, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We have a sponsor today, Chuck Norris, and I will talk about him later. But uh, first things first, let's get into this. Tesla did something crazy this week. And it kind of went, wow, they laid off more people. They laid off everybody in the, in the supercharger division. The superchargers are those things that you see parked on the side of the freeway that have the Tesla logo that Tesla owners charge their cars with. Now, one thing that Tesla did to make additional money was they made an adapter for everybody that you can use our superchargers. And it was anticipated that Tesla could make, you know, by 2030, they could make almost $20 billion a year having people use their superchargers. Now, the problem with it was Tesla owners were furious. This is going to be ridiculous because the we're going to have um, longer waits, which they do. You're going to have people like Rivian who step forward, General Motors, even Ford stepped forward and said that they were going to start using this. And Tesla accounts for almost 68% of all the charging revenues for this. By the way, I'm in Long Beach. And that's the beautiful Queen Mary and a cruise ship across the, the bay here. It's kind of nice, but kind of crazy guys, because he got rid of everybody and it's time for you guys to fend for yourselves and worry about your own uh, charging capabilities and do this on your own and build your own, uh, you know, charging centers. Wow. Okay. Now here's the thing. The government gave Tesla $16 million worth of grants. And again, wouldn't you like $16 million of the grants for your business? God knows I would. Okay. So they got that money and now they're not going to advance everybody. And you guys are on your own. This is going to destroy a lot of other companies too, because when this originally came out, it was the thing that was going to make it huge, huge money for Tesla, where at one point it could have been hundreds of billions of dollars in charging revenue a year. But again, he's on this hardcore job cutting schedule and laying people off like you guys wouldn't believe. It is crazy what he's doing. Now, there's a great story here in California where I told you about the ladies that I knew that hopped in the, the Waymo machine, the Waymo machine, the Waymo car that's self-driving in Arizona. And uh, isn't that great? There is a guy who has been driving in the Oakland area and gets in the back seat of his Tesla and puts it on autopilot. Parim Sharma does this, 25 years old, and goes out and doesn't drive the car. Says it's a magical experience sitting in the back seat of the car and letting the car self-drive. Okay, well, people start taking video of this clown doing this, saying, and the story is below, so you gotta see this because it made the news. The guy, they're like, hey, you know, this is dangerous. And the newscaster's like, this is highly illegal. Here in California, it's completely illegal to do this. Now, what happened was, if you see this guy driving down the freeway, please call 911 and let's get the highway patrol, which is our, you know, state trooper division all over him. Okay. So sure enough, next time the guy does it, people start filming it and they call 911. There's the lighthouse back there. They call 911 and a highway patrolman was within a couple miles of this guy and pulled him over. And the highway patrolman said when he flipped the lights on, he had to climb from the back seat. And uh, this is highly illegal. And they wrote him up and gave him a ticket. Two counts of reckless driving. Now he, uh, Parim Sharma says, I don't care. What are they going to do? Take away my license? Before you know it, it's going to be self-driving cars. None of us are going to need a driver's license soon. Okay, I don't know if that's your thinking, but uh, kind of a crazy way. Got the campers behind me and I'll go and move a little bit so they can go by us. But what a crazy thing because, again, incredibly unsafe, incredibly dangerous, and it, it's not ready for prime time yet, guys. It's not ready for full self-driving. It's dangerous for people to do this 
and for this guy to rip down the freeway. You know, they interviewed him too. He did an interview for the news channel and said, listen, what are they gonna do? Reckless driving, how is this even illegal? He said, I'm not breaking any laws. Well, according to the Highway Patrol, they are, he is, and uh, they charged him. He says, they're not gonna take away my license for this. Everybody's gonna have self-driving soon. And I'm just doing it early and I'm adopting the technology early. Okay, okay. So, a lot of people are writing me about their Tesla problems, Tesla not being able to charge, things like that. But I think it's very interesting that we are living in a time right now where you have so many people that are having problems with the, the auto industry. Ford Maverick is the truck. Remember their $20,000 truck? That's not $20,000. I searched it again today. The cheapest one I found was 30 grand, okay? It's not a $20,000 truck. They just recalled 242,000 of those trucks because the brake lights may not work at certain times, which again is a problem because if they're recalling it, obviously with the brake lights not working, it's gonna make it so that you could get ran into. Give you an idea where I'm at. That's Shoreline Village over there. You've got the aquarium behind me. This is where they have the Long Beach Grand Prix every year. But uh, again, guys, what do you think about this? You know, I think it's nuts. I think that uh, Elon Musk, man, that guy does whatever he wants to do, okay? As much as I give him a hard time, he must know something, okay? But by cutting everybody off, I don't know if this is a negotiating tact, you know, to go out and try to get a better deal from everybody. Who knows? But those people lost their jobs. 500 people lost their jobs. Let me know what you think. Let's talk about our sponsor, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris has been in Hollywood and on TV for decades. He has always had a good physique and has always maintained his health. But a few years ago, he came up with something that completely revolutionized his stamina, his physique, and the ability to work out longer and just be healthier. So if you go to chuckdefense.com forward slash Dan, you can see what he did to make these changes. Now think about this. There are three things that he says sabotage our health and you've got to eliminate these. If you go and check out the video that he created, you can see what he's done to make a difference in his health. His wife has done this regimen and she says it makes her feel 10 years younger. Go to chuckdefense.com forward slash Dan. The best place to get a hold of it is the link below. Don't try to punch it in and use the link below and check it out today. But it's made a huge difference in his health. Check it out today. Do you ever hear things and think, oh, that's completely unbelievable. And then they keep piling on and you keep hearing it again and again and again and you still don't believe it. I'll give you a perfect example. Unemployment numbers for first time unemployment claims are released every Thursday. Yesterday they came out. So what you have is you have the unemployment number staying unchanged. Now, I have had multiple videos sent to me by people that saying, how is this possible? We get all these layoffs sent to us and we're told how people are losing their jobs. It's a tight job market. And we're told that the number of people that are filing first time unemployment claims stays basically within a thousand for all of 2024. So it's at 208,000 people filed for first time unemployment claims this week. And, okay, do you believe that? I don't believe it. I don't believe it at all. Okay? So, what do you call that? Um, uh, conspiracy theory, okay? <laughs> Here's one for you. A man named Josh Dean. Okay, multiple people sent me this. Josh was a whistleblower who ratted on Spirit Airlines and Boeing. Okay, he worked for Aero Systems and said that Spirit wasn't safe. And he was one of the first people, he was 45 years old, he was an old man, okay? 
and he died of a mystery illness, okay, this week. So, God, that's, that whistleblowing is a very, very deadly thing to do. I mean, yes, you can get really sick if you blow into the whistle, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> okay, does it get a little ridiculous, guys, okay? So, he got an infection. Read the stories below. Read the story below about the unemployment numbers, which I don't believe, okay? Because what we're being told, guys, is you need to be told that everything is great. You need to be told that a $15 hamburger and a Frosty is okay, okay? You need to be told that. You, you know, a friend of mine from high school. Dan, look at this, okay? No, guys, it's not. It's unreasonable, okay? Went to my favorite teriyaki place today because I was in Long Beach and I was like, okay, I might as well go two freeway off rubs down and bring food home for everybody. And, you know, the Chinese chicken salad, all the stuff that they have there. Okay? Okay. So two salads, teriyaki and salad, $40. $40. 40 40 40 $40. Okay? Guys, it's nuts right now. But don't worry. Everything's good. You know, we're not making any money, you know, just, you know, I just, people that blow into the whistle, it sure seems like they get sick fast. You know what I mean? So share your thoughts on that stuff. But what do you think about these unemployment numbers? You have 190 million people. I have all these stats in my head, guys, that I could bore you with. You have 190 million people in the workforce right now. Think of the people that are not counted. People like me are basically not counted. I own businesses out here making videos, got sponsors, got all that fun stuff. But basically people like me are not counted in the workforce, okay? Or are we, you know? So the other thing is the IRS. This little walkway over here, tell the little. They have $80 million and 80,000 new employees that they're gonna go after us. And they said, don't worry, it's gonna be the millionaires first. We're going after the millionaires, we're gonna audit more millionaires first. And depending on who you listen to and who you you know, pay attention to, it could be people that make $40,000 a year. So they're gonna go after everyone. So I think it's gonna be everybody you know, from beginning to end. And if you guys have any crypto or you have a little side hustle, and yeah, you know what, I sell things and mail them out and I don't report that. They're gonna find that stuff out now, guys. They are going to find that stuff out now. So get ready for this. Get ready for more of a, you know, inspection into your life. You know, I have people that write me still and don't get the, you know, how bad a central bank digital currency would be. And what it would do is it would make it so that they could track everything that you do. Why are you in Long Beach today, Dan? Why did you go to Carson to pick up teriyaki? You know, and we noticed you went down there three freeway off rooms down. Do you know what I mean? It gets crazy. Well, tell me where there's better teriyaki than that place. You know what I mean? So once again, the freedom that you have is going to be eliminated. The one thing that you have when you guys drive these electric cars, you're going to see that they sell the data on all of you. Everything that you do is reported and you're going to get more of that. Now they're talking about making more of the newer cars have the ability to be shut off as well with kill switches and things like that. You know, I'll believe it when I see it, if the stuff goes through, but again, OnStar, those type of programs that they listen to. You guys, if you follow this channel for a year, you would have heard stories where OnStar was listening to people and people didn't even have it turned on and they knew that, uh, uh, they were, you know, listening to their, their, con <laughs> their, their t conversations. One woman was praying one day and she heard the OnStar person uh, giggle and cough. Okay. So it was nice, nice privacy. Okay. So I'm at the lighthouse. I'm going to climb up the hill if I don't pass out. Okay. Share your thoughts on all this stuff so far. I have the greatest audience. I have people from basically, I think every industry, from finance to real estate to 
oil executives to doctors to sales professionals. I mean, everybody. I, I really do. I mean, IT, I've just got them all. And Aaron, or as I like to call him, A.A. Ron, is in uh, real estate. And he sent me the greatest note from one of his real estate insider uh, emails. And that is the fact that Ralph Lauren, the big company, Ralph Lauren, um, uh, they are eliminating 40% of their office space in New York City, cutting it back and getting rid of it. Why? Why are they getting rid of their flagship building and getting rid of that office space? Because they don't need it, guys. They're selling less. They're cutting back for survival. New Jersey, they're taking their um, uh, office space in New Jersey, Nutley, New Jersey, which I love the name of that city, Nutley. Um, Nutley uh, and uh, sublease in it, okay? If somebody's foolish enough to rent it out. But, you know, you can sit there and say that Ralph Lauren walked in there and was, you know, cool as a cucumber. Um, anyways, okay? Fascinating stuff, okay? When you use your iPhone, did you know that the preferred search on your iPhone is Google? Okay, I didn't know. I just thought that they selected it that way. No, Google pays for that. Google paid $20 billion last year to make sure that that was maintained. Well, that's a nice deal, don't you think? 20 billion buckaroos? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, there was a Pennsylvania-based company uh, that uh, may have had E. coli in their hamburger and got that recalled. And uh, the company is uh, Sargo uh, Meats. And uh, they sell basically, they're from Pennsylvania, they sell basically on Walmart. One thing I've never liked, okay, and this goes back to when I was a kid, my mom would buy that hamburger that was in the plastic wrap that was like, this is hamburger inside of it. Well, if you can't see it, I didn't want to eat it first. Don't, what's it, you know, I don't you want to look at it? That's my thing. I don't like those prepackaged things that are hidden. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but you can let me know about that. I want to look at it. During the health crisis, when COVID was around, there were certain businesses that just killed it, just did really, really well because people were locked down. Peloton was one of them. Peloton was one of these companies that made money hand over fist because people would buy that $3,500 towel rack and sit in their house and watch those classes and work out. The CEO, Barry McCarthy, and this company's had some real problems over the last two years, stepped down finally yesterday and sent a note. I like that. We sent a note to the employees. Well, people couldn't, you know, he couldn't handle where the company was going and trying to maintain profitability. And it's not. It's not going to be profitable. And again, I, I have infuriated people on Facebook and friends I went to high school with. This will be the most expensive towel rack that you'll have in your house. <sighs> I use it every day. I use it every day. Zoom was a perfect example of this, guys. Zoom had a day when the stock price went up $100 in one day, and everybody had to have Zoom, and then now there's tons of competitors that compete against Zoom. So let me know what you think about that, and uh, you know, uh, if you have an opinion on that one way or another. I think it's fascinating because right now the key to everything is cutting back. And when you look at certain companies like Elon Musk, whether you like Tesla or not, and you know I'm not a fan of this thing, you just know I'm not. I'm a fan of that, guys. The, fa that, the fact that he can do what he can do and buy the companies and get the deals he can do and have people do what they, uh, you know, have done as far as uh, engineers and everything, guys, amazing. But when you see a guy cutting back and clearing costs, and saying that we have to go hardcore on this, you have to look at this yourself. Man, I get so many people that are wealthier, made a lot of money, but they're broke right now, guys. They don't have any money right now. So these people, you know, are spending every dollar they have. They've got second homes, they've got boats, they've got things like that, and can't figure out how it's time to, to trim the cost. They don't want that, they don't wanna give up you know, the golf course. They don't want to give up uh, the vacations and things like that. And now is the time to do that more than ever. So let me know what you think about this stuff so far.
I'm gonna finish this video with these last few stories. And the first one is, remember the bridge collapse in March in Maryland? Well, Chubb Insurance, Chubby Chubb Chubb, steps forward and they're gonna write a check for $350 million for the bridge collapse. It's a lot of money. I don't know if it'll cover you know, the bridge or not, but they're gonna pay $350 million as a fee for that. One thing that, you know, loan officers are writing me and they're telling me, Dan, more sellers are getting creative and giving people buy downs and paying for the loans to be lowered. And what that is, guys, if let's say you have a 7.19% interest rate on your uh, mortgage, well, what you can do is you can buy it down to where maybe it'll start at four and a half, five percent for a year or two, and then it escalates up to the current rate. Someone has to pay for that. You just don't get free discounted rates, okay? So you make the decision if you want to buy a house right now. The other thing is that more people than ever are going to adjustable rate mortgages, which is like that, but people are at their own peril. And what I mean by that is they may get a rate that's in the fives, 5.99 or something for six months. Oh, look at this, look at how cheap the payment is, okay? But then reality sets in. And this is what happened before, guys, is that, you know, as we hit almost 10% of the mortgage being written like this, you're gonna see it get more and more and more like this. And the final, final story, and this one made me sick, was good old Grandma Yellen, who says, you know, first time home buyers can't get homes. So she's proposing, an idea where she gives a rebate and what the rebate is think about this number ten thousand dollars for you to buy or sell your home if you have your starter home and you want to sell your starter home to get into the second home we will give you ten grand what would that what would ten thousand dollars do in the purchase of a home right now tell me where that that's gonna make a difference in this country seriously you know it's funny I've told you guys this before I have dream streets that I would live on and dream houses and they're tagged and if they ever come lit, become available for sale i get a notification it's very cool got one last night i'm like oh wow okay the house is about three hundred thousand dollars more than i would ever pay for it and i would never buy the house right now because i'm one of these people that believe that we have not seen anything yet when you see the commercial real estate doing what it's doing and you see the abundance of homes that are for sale right now you're going to see the housing prices drop. And real estate agents, you just don't know what you're talking about. There's just not enough inventory. Oh yeah, okay, not enough inventory. Remember that guys, okay? Please do not forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Someday I'll take you guys over to the Queen Mary and uh, join the email list. If you wanna get a hold of me, hello at iallegedly.com and uh, onward and upward guys. I will see you guys very soon. Hope you enjoyed that. I love coming out here, okay? It's kind of tricky to get out here because there's a one lane road you got to get to to get to this funky little park, but uh, always a beautiful spot. Be well, guys. I'll see you soon.